Katie Haley's family has been touched by evil. The man they trusted to love her took her life. The warning signs were there, but it was too late. That broke me. No parent should get that phone call. It shouldn't happen. So, it's a cowardly act. You know, it's, there's, there's no other way to describe it. She wasn't prepared for it. She was defenceless. She was small, 42 kilos when she died. The 29 year old mother of two found dead inside her diggers rest home after 11 o'clock last night. I didn't actually think he was capable of it. Um, it never crossed my mind. From loving partner, to cold-blooded killer. I only get involved if you touch my daughter. Yeah, that's a father's right to say that. And he said, oh, I've never touched her and I never would. Six days before. He picked up a 40 centimetre barbell and charged at Katie as she lay on her son's bed. Katie's family welcomed her boyfriend, Shane, with open arms. They, like this beautiful 29-year-old, had no idea the horror he was about to unleash. We don't get it back. But if a shark attacks someone, they hunt them down and kill them. A crocodile, hunt them down and kill them. Dog bites someone, put it down. Yeah. But a person's allowed to do this and then, oh, I, I snapped. It is nothing but pure evil. Mum's got to go to work. i got to go to work. You always knew she was around. She didn't matter what time of day, night, whatever. She made an entrance, not on purpose, it was just her. Bubbly and brave. That's how Katie's sister Bianca and dad Boyd remember her. She only ever really spoke about being a mum. That was her biggest goal and um, she obviously achieved that and she was the best. Dylan adored his big sister. When we'd go out to like family events, we'd just muck around because we didn't want to be part of the adults. And I would definitely say we had a special bond that can't really be explained with words. When this mum of two first started dating tradie Shane Robertson, she was beaming. Initially, we thought, like, she's found someone. He makes her happy. We included him because he was essentially her world. I think I'm a fairly good judge of character and I did not see this coming. The couple had been together for four years when out of nowhere, he snapped. In a jealous rage, Shane bludgeoned this loving mother to death with a barbell. He went and grabbed a weapon. He took it into an innocent little boy's room, a place of safety, a place where obviously Katie went to get away. And he hit her multiple times. So we had to arrive at the crime scene to see like your sister's house just come with people swarming everywhere and it was, in that moment you knew it was, it, it was her. CCTV shows this killer fleeing the scene without calling an ambulance. Instead, he phoned his mum and said, I've done it, I've bashed her brains in. When police caught him, he had the audacity to lie and claim Katie was being violent to him. Robertson was eventually sentenced to a non-parole period of 19 years. In court, her family heard how he'd become obsessively jealous. At one point, you set up a fake Facebook and Instagram accounts to contact Miss Haley's work colleagues. Katie had told him she was leaving and was packing her bags. He hit her face first. It was to make sure no one ever wanted her because she was a beautiful young mother. It was that if I can't have you, no one can. You go through the checklist of domestic violence now, of what the indicators are, and we just go tick, 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 the whole list. And you go, why didn't we see it? The signs of domestic violence are often subtle and not always physical. Perpetrators will belittle, control or humiliate their victims. Other red flags include jealousy and possessiveness. Us women aren't, we're not confident in speaking up about it. And that's my message now is let's all get up and speak out about it. Mother of three, Simone O'Brien is a survivor. Her ex bashed her with a baseball bat and left her for dead. She says if you're not being treated right, 
don't stay for the kids. Get out. If you know that he has been violent, if he's hit you, if he swore at you, if he's done anything, it's only going to get worse. Don't even say you're leaving. Just take off. Domestic violence is a disgraceful national epidemic. One woman a week is murdered in Australia, not by a stranger, but by someone close to them. These women are mothers, wives, sisters and friends. Katie's loved ones want her light to shine on and for her kids to remember her as the beautiful woman she was. They're working with the Red Heart campaign, raising awareness that domestic violence can and does turn deadly. I'm going to stand up for my sister. She doesn't have a voice anymore and our family, we're not going to back down. If I help one person get away from a bad situation and their family doesn't have to go through what we've gone through, it's worth it. There's more on the Red Heart campaign on our homepage.